and well hello there everyone and I just finished a trip out to Algonquin and I'm just sort of thinking about some things that sort of happened along the way that I think I could benefit uh, for the next go around and and what I mean about uh, Algonquin is it's a Algonquin Provincial Park in Ontario it's a uh, it's about uh, three hours away, two and a half hours or so away from the GTA, which is the Greater Toronto Area. And that's where I'm around. And uh, I also work within that area. And uh, the route I took from the GTA was I went up the 400 North and, and then I, it went to 11, I believe it was, and then to 60, which is sort of the, the corridor, the Westgate corridor. That's, the, uh, that's a typical path that I go. And I, I've been there before. Uh, Algonquin Park represents a part of my little life that um, that is uh, almost a yearly thing uh, as much as possible. There was uh, several years, like I guess I'll just say it, like a decade, where I didn't go at all, and it sort of like broke broke my flow that way. My my family has always gone camping when we were kids, and so I've got some really good memories about it. And this time around, I took our silver cabin and, um, well, I, I've taken it before, but this time around is a bit different uh, in that I've had some additional you know, items. Going to Algonquin, uh, typically uh, I go tent camping and this time around, well, even before, I, I now just take the silver cabin. I do keep a tent with me just in case I need to have a tent or it's a requirement you know you can use it as sort of like storage if you want but I prefer sleeping in the van it's much more comfortable talking about sleeping sleeping in the van was fantastic uh, this new bed system that I created much much more comfortable a few things that I will probably uh, fix up on it for example I'm gonna I might create a way to extend it out so it's wider but it was just right but I think if it was a bit wider I think it would have been slightly better and then I thought of, you know, maybe some other storage options. But, you know, as you could, as you guys can see, and I think it's obvious now that I will never, I don't think I'll ever like finish fixing up this van. And I don't think there are people who, who sort of do this type of thing uh, will say, oh, I'm finally done fixing the van. There's always something and there's always something to improve on. That being said, it doesn't mean I can't use what I have right now. And I mean, I could perceivably just stop right now and I can continue using this uh, as, as is. Remember, before, this used to be like a uh, like a no build. I literally had none of this stuff in here, and I was okay. It was minimalist. But then I got the opportunity to sort of fix it up. I originally started with cardboard to sort of measure everything out, and then I sort of added on bit by bit. And so far, this is what I've got. You know, it started with the kitchen sink. And what's really interesting about the kitchen sink is I haven't used it. I've hardly used it at all this year. I find that I just need a, a bowl, a, like a little a bowl or a portable sink of, uh, of some sort. I just pour water into it and I'm fine. Uh, although I kind of like the idea of having a sink, maybe I might not need it because I think I fell into the concept that, oh, I need a sink because, you know, it's, it's supposed to be like a camper van. But... At the same time, I'm perfectly fine just pouring water into a bowl of, into a bowl and then you know washing and brushing my teeth and so on and so forth. But um, it also doesn't require electricity. Just pouring stuff. Yeah, into the only a bowl. caveat, of course, is um, you know keeping keeping the water into a container that's big. I do have a a 20 liter uh, uh, tank just underneath the sink that I'm not using. But I think, so I might, I might fix the sink anyway. So just to sort of see, see how I like it. But um, so far I haven't really used it that much. So if you're wondering whether you should have a sink or not, maybe you don't really need one. So a few things. Um, so anyway, I was traveling, going, going back to the Algonquin thing. So I went up 11, I went up to 60. And there was always that turn, okay, that there, I, I, I can either uh, go up, keep going up uh, 11 and end up at North Bay, which... There was a part of me that was thinking maybe I should go up there, but then I said, hey, you know, I'll just detour over to Tulgonquin. And when I went to 60, um, uh, I could, if I had kept going through Algonquin, I'd end up in Ottawa, but I don't want to go there. And I stayed in, in Algonquin. I stopped, I stopped over a place called Erica's Bakery, just heading into uh, Algonquin Park at the West Gate. And boy, those butter tarts are so good. Um, 
let's see if I can find the clip where I sort of stopped over. Hey guys, how you doing? So I thought I'd take a break. I've been driving for a few hours. I stopped over a few places and here, this is the place that I've stopped at is Erica's and this is sort of like one of my stopovers each and every time before I go into Algonquin and the number one thing I pick up here and pretty much the only thing, maybe a coffee or so every so often, are the butter tarts. I, I pick up the plain butter tarts and the pecan butter tarts. I think they have the best butter tarts in all of Ontario. It's just insanely good. It's so buttery. But anyway, if you if you want some amazing butter tarts, drop by Erica's. And you know, I'm thinking about those butter tarts. They were so good. But I had uh, butter tarts for breakfast. I had butter tarts butter parts butter tarts <laughs> and you know those butter tarts were so good I had them for breakfast I had them for lunch I had them for dinner oh boy it was really good um, oh and uh, and the other thing is uh, I also like later on I, I stopped over at a burger place called Weber's and I had this vegetarian burger and it was so good I mean I think I have a clip of that somewhere I'll see if I can integrate it into this little sort of like summation of my last few days but um, for a vegetarian burger it tastes like real meat so I'm thinking you know is this really a vegetarian burger it was that good so if you ever, if you ever get a chance uh, uh, head over to Weber's it is on the way to Algonquin I think it is on 11 as well yeah I don't think it's 60 I think it's 11 and it's in Bracebridge so uh, Bracebridge area around that area and uh, it was quite delicious now there's always a lineup because it's that good but the lineup is worth it so you know load up and um, and try it out it's really quite good and you know heading out over there like today is a beautiful day it's like sunny the, the skies are clear uh, it's just a beautiful beautiful day today and uh, it wasn't like that when I went to Algonquin um, Algonquin Park uh, it was rainy and, and it was meters. really bizarre what it going, going there it was raining a lot uh, but then it stopped raining and then uh, I went for a couple of trails I, I did four trails plus two small ones okay so six trails but I, I would just say I just did four trails because the other two were weren't really trails they're more like me wandering around but but if I were to count everything I did six trails in total and boy did I get tired and uh, I did I did it all in just a few short hours and then I took a nap and um, just chilled right out for the rest of the day but it was raining and then it stopped raining it was really sunny it was humid it was all kinds of weather and and I I have a few mosquito bites <laughs> a lot but you know what, what worked out really oh yes you know what re worked out really well were the mosquito nets that I installed man they worked out exactly I mean they worked perfectly and so the bug screen that I made there's a video for that and hopefully I'll include it in at the top somewhere okay and usually this little, little link that comes up that worked well for the front and then the mosquito screen for the side hit it out of the ballpark it just completely worked excellent I was able to keep my side door open with the mosquito net in place sort of like you know closed up and I kept it open I, at the back. The extra screening that I had, I used that to cover up the back. And I stayed at an area for at a uh, one of the trailheads for for several hours, and just sort of journaling, just sort of relaxing, taking in some nature. And if I wanted to, I just went out for a bit of a walk. And I took some I took some uh, some video here and there. But you know, um, I just really just wanted to just reset. Reset, you know, retreat, retreat, reset, recharge, and then reapply. And uh, it was it was really good to just sort of do that and just you know get away for a bit. The internet wasn't that great. Okay, there were some parts it was very spotty, and I was you know the the time that I was able to get some internet was when I went into town, maybe to get some supplies or something. But it wasn't it wasn't really that great. Some parts were good for internet and. Maybe that's what I wanted. Maybe I, I didn't want any internet for a bit, for a, for a bit, and just sort of just, just really, uh, just really think about things and write things out, and um, that's what I, that's what I wanted to do. 
And you know, I think this is one of the very first times when I didn't see any uh, unusual wildlife. Uh, like for example, I know in the past I've seen a bear. <laughs> I've seen coyotes or maybe, I don't think, I don't think there are wolves. There are probably coyotes. I've heard wolves. Um, I've seen uh, some moose before, but this time around I didn't see anything. I, everything was pretty much empty. I saw the standard chipmunks and birds and you know, loons, things like that, but nothing really unusual, which maybe, you know, I wasn't disappointed, but it would have been kind of neat to see them. I definitely would have taken a video. Granted, um, I didn't take my camera as much as I, you know, take as many pictures as I wanted to. I just, I just really wanted to take everything in. And um, for the most part, um, that's what I did. It was, it was a great mind dump, you know, you know, keeping everything just keeping everything in check just really just slowing everything down and I was really happy about that but you know what check out this new camera angle you know what I'm using I'm actually using that whoop ah, there we go I'm actually using that thing that I used for the air conditioner that square thing I made to point it then I replace it with the other one uh, that it's a better way to articulate the hose so I'm using it to sort of hold the camera so it has this angle and I think this is the camera angle that I'm going to stay with because it actually works pretty good, um, and it's, a, it's it's got a it's got a good it's got a good view. So maybe this might be this might be the camera angle. This is a camera angle, possibly. Anyway, I'm going to try it. Um, hopefully, you guys like it. So uh, maybe throughout, I've started putting some clips here and there, just cutting to it, and then you can see what's going on. And um, overall, uh, what went right, what went wrong. Um, very few went wrong. Um, battery was good. Uh, my middle stove, my burner was good. Everything worked, went right. Uh, I, again, the best part was the bed. Uh, I slept really well. It was very comfortable. I, I slept a full eight hours, seven, eight hours, which I don't typically always get. But, you know, it got, it, it was hot. You know what? It was a bit hot. It was a bit cool. But I had the fan going and I had my AC. I didn't keep it on for a long time because it was it was eating up a lot of a lot of uh, battery, a lot of energy. So I just kept it on for a bit and, until I cooled down a bit more. Uh, I did want you know I washed my face and I put uh, put some um, uh, mo I had a mo moist <laughs> I had a towel moist. Well, apparently that's a tainted word now. I don't know why, but anyway I I, I had a wet towel and just sort of like you know wiped my body down and I had the fan going and it was nice and I slept I slept really well it was comfortable in here and again just maybe a few things some very small adjustments with the bed but aside from that it, it worked out well so very few th I'm just trying to think what could have been better um, not much uh, I mean I mean if I was really really picky uh, the latest table that I made I noticed that my 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 movement is kind of constrained if I have the table up because you know I can't you know it, it is a tiny tiny space it's like 32 square feet but um, I mean I rarely have that that table going so it's you know when I did it was you know it was you know maybe just to do a few things but I, di I didn't do much I, I maybe I maybe had it oh when I had a meal I, I would put it up and it that would the tape and it, and it worked out well that way I'm just trying to think of what went what what didn't go right everything went right okay. what didn't go right there we go okay um it got crowded in here because i had everything out and it was kind of you know like every time i had to get something i had to go back i had to you know unpack it get it and so everything was kind of like on top of each other so it got a slightly messy but you know it, it is a tiny space and overall um it was it was good uh, it's 32 square feet of space I think what I need is probably like one of those big carry bags where I can keep the stuff that I'm constantly getting at and not misplacing because when I when I went out like even like even a backpack but maybe just just something where I can keep everything together for example when I went to a rest area I had to go back to the van because I forgot this and I forgot that and you know and it was a bit of a pain but I think if I had like a, a big bag or something that would that would that would have worked out well uh, what else um, 
can't think of anything else. You know, overall, it was a very good trip. Um, had a great time. And um, what's great is being able to just, you know, shove off and take off uh, uh, anywhere and, and be comfortable. And um, I think that's what this whole thing's about for me is being able to just take off anywhere at any time and be comfortable and be able to do my trail runs and or, or hikes and have a place to crash out and definitely I did definitely did crash out I after the fourth one I was really tired and then I had a couple more smaller ones and so it was a very it was a very good good outing uh, good time away um, I'm back again to work next week uh, and I'm okay with that and until the next time um, I'm looking at trying out a few places and like, hopefully it's not going to be a, as, as hot it got really hot over 100 degrees Fahrenheit from my American friends and that's like you know uh, I think the mid 30s for in terms of degrees for for the Canadians for us here what else what else can I babble about I don't know I think that's about it guys Oh yes, of course, of course. How can you? You can't. You're not going to get away with me mentioning something about the roof again. <sighs> I know at some point I'm going to do this roof, and I hope I do it well. Uh, I've got this trepidation about it for some reason, but like anything else, you just have to go and do it. And I'm going to try it. Uh, you know, the reality is I don't have a lot of room. Look, look at. It. I don't have a lot of room up there and um, I'm just concerned you know what's what's it gonna look like how's it gonna turn out but I have an idea I have an idea I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna try something and see if it works and if it works great if it doesn't that's okay uh, this van essentially has been just just an amazing ride just an, I'm so happy with this van that's kind of landed on my lap and now it's turned into something that has increased my little quality of life in terms of sort of like you know a place to crash out and basically a place to sleep when I need to and um, it's brought me to so many beautiful places and while staying comfortable and especially in this time where because of the pandemic there's so many restrictions it's it's really made a difference so yeah and that's all I have to say about that okay guys uh, thanks very much for for listening i really appreciate it uh, you know if you like the video please like it if you think it's worthy please subscribe if you have any comments you know put them in the comment section and um oh yes oh how can i forget this ever since i i you know ever since the, the channel has over a thousand subscribers now there was this little tab that like kind of popped up it was like the community tab wasn't expecting it uh i didn't know i didn't even know that was going to appear so now i could sort of like post stuff uh, other stuff like and it would it, I think I don't think it appears as a video on the channel but it appears as sort of like a little like a little post entry so I might do a bit more of that I'm not sure if you guys like it uh, you know let me know um, if you think it's useful but I think that's going to be one way to sort of add some more random content or content that may be helpful uh, you know for this channel or that may be helpful to help you from this channel yeah like that I think that's about it. I should cue the music. You know, this music I've been using all this time from the very beginning. I like it. Somebody had asked me what, what, it, what it was called. Like, what's this song called? Or what's this music called? And... I don't think I even know, but if I remember, if I remember it correctly, because what I did was I sort of just kept it in, in as a file, and I already know it's like you know, click it and everything, right? The the uh, the song is called the, the tune is called Hey Girl, and you know I'm I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna place the 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 credits at the bottom, and you know that's what I should do. I should put the credits at the bottom for because I mean I've gotten some really good gotten some really good uh, use out of it I don't know if I should change the music but it's kind of sort of like the the music that that I uh, that I use right now 
you guys. Bye. I'm gonna try something here. I notice that when when I smile at people here, they kind of smile back. You know. So I'm gonna smile to them. Smile. A lot of people. This is this is Toronto. Nice place. Oh, there. Friendly people. They're all very friendly here.